Welcome to Electro Online. What if we had negative protons and positive electrons? What would happen? The answer is absolutely nothing. It is purely arbitrary which way we call them. We can call the proton positive, we call it negative, we can call the electron positive, we call it electron negative. It simply doesn't matter. It's completely arbitrary. We could have simply reversed them or we could have simply called them red and blue or anything else. The only thing that really matters is that the charges are opposite because we know that opposite charges attract and like charges repel. So if we had a universe that had protons that are negative and so the nucleus was negatively charged and the electrons swarming around the nucleus were positively charged, that would work just fine. Matter of fact, before they understood exactly what charges were and how charges move through conductors, they didn't know that charges moved through the conductor and that there was a current there, they thought that it was the positive charges that were doing the moving. And so, we thought that charges, being positive, moved through the conductor from a high potential to a low potential. And guess what? That's still the convention today. We never changed that, even though we're now fully aware that it's the ne negative electrons are moving through the conductor from a low potential to a high potential, we just ignore that and we just assume that it's positive charges moving from high to low potential. So that does bother some students initially when they see that. They go, but that's not even true. We say, that's okay. It simply doesn't matter. We can just assume that it's a positive charges moving as long as we understand that it's like charges repel, opposite charges attract. That's the only thing that matters.